Nothing breaks your immersion in a film like an extra who draws attention to themselves and steals focus from what's actually going on. Sometimes it's accidental, other times it's planned. Either way, it can be pretty hilarious. Still, once you notice these elements going rogue, it's impossible not to point them out to others and, in essence, turn that portion of the film into something completely different. Oh my god! We're having a fire sale! With this in mind, I'm JulesWhatCulture.com and here are 10 background distractions that completely ruined movie scenes. Number 10. The Violent Horse, The Last Samurai. Proof, if ever it were needed, that horses the are four legged devils. It's science. As a battle takes shape, Tom Cruise appears valiantly on his mighty steed to rally the troops, dismounting amongst his men to deliver a toothsome and wonderfully inspiring speech to get their blood up and inspire them to lay down their lives for an ultimately doomed oh, endeavor. And just as he swings his leg off the animal's back, the horse takes exception to the soldier standing immediately to his left flank, or more specifically, to his genitals. So when a director asks you if you want to be the one standing right next to the agitated stallion in the future, just say nay. Yes, that's right, I said it. Number 9. Pattern Keeps Perfectly Still, King of Queens Not actually in the realms of cinema, but this prank by comedian extraordinaire and self-appointed geek spokesperson Patton Oswalt deserves a mention for the sheer audacity of it. In one King of Queens episode, the supporting star decided to ruin a party scene by doing absolutely nothing at all. The commitment to his bit is brilliant, and the impact on the scene is subtly destructive in the best possible way. Absolutely hilarious, but once you've seen it, it's impossible not to look out for Oswalt rather than following the action. Which was probably something to do with Kevin James being a fat, unfunny man who can't act and whose career is on personal life support by Adam Sandler. Or maybe something like he forgot to pick up groceries. Number 8. The Overzealous Tumblr – Die Hard 2 We've looked at terrible and distracting extras who ruined their scenes in movies before, and there are few things worse than a bit part player with aspirations to hog camera focus and make a name for themselves. And such is the case with this background chancer from Die Hard 2, who clearly takes his direction to flee as an opportunity to add a completely unnecessary and comically distracting flourish, throwing himself to the floor in an awkward and unconvincing manner that screams, look at me, but for all the wrong reasons. Number 7. Blofeld's cat is really not happy. As The Last Samurai proved, you should really never work with animals on screen, because no matter how well trained they are or how usually well behaved, you can never quite tell how they will react in a stressful or volatile situation. Just ask Blofeld, who suffered at the mercy of a spooked feline. Clearly unhappy with the onset explosions, the animal shows its disdain and completely upstages everyone else in the scene in the process. Full marks really have to go to Donald Pleasance, who doesn't miss a beat, despite the claws clearly penetrating his arm skin and the writhing, unhappy creature attempting to escape his clutches. Spooked pussies, eh? Can't do a thing with them. Number 6. The Frozen Children – Everything Must Go Chances are you might not have seen Will Ferrell's surprisingly good comedy drama Everything Must Go, but give it a shot for this scene alone. Children can be so literal. Boys have a penis, girls have a vagina. Which is why precise directing can lead to situations where young actors interpret the instructions a little too much, such as when the director here told these kids to stay still. I mean, to be fair to them, the actors clearly did what they were asked. But but it's incredibly hard not to be completely distracted by the obvious time vortex that has trapped the children. They were never the same after. Number 5. Lando Wears Hands Clothes Now made famous by Family Guy, there's a weird scene which has Lando Calrissian dressed as Han Solo at the end of The Empire Strikes Back. It's not strictly a background detail, but it's presented in such a way that it's designed to be incidental. We aren't really supposed to read anything into it, but it's simultaneously impossible to ignore the fact that he's clearly wearing another major character's exact outfit. I mean, this could be symbolic, it could be a sign of Harrison Ford's almost departure from the series at the end of Empire, and maybe the transition of Lando into that void. Or it could simply be that Lando didn't have any clothes of his own. These questions and more are why this little creative decision completely distracts from the actual scene. Number 4. The Psychic Extra North by Northwest Clearly not understanding how big a break his association with a Hitchcock movie is, the little boy in the background of North by Northwest pays no attention to fundamental principles of staying in character and going along with the charade of the narrative because of an overriding desire not to suffer potentially irreparable ear trauma. Watch as he completely undermines the gunshot moment by making it clear exactly what's about to happen. Maybe in rehearsals the bangs were too much for his little tender ears, but here he is 50 or so years later completely ruining a key point of the narrative. Good job, that lad. Number 3. Three Men and a Little Poltergeist Sometimes a rumour can be bigger than the film it's dedicated to, and such is the case with Three Men and a Baby, the story about a man who you wouldn't let babysit a Caesar salad. Back before DVDs and Blu-rays allowed viewers to pause moments and retain the finer detail of the background, one eagle-eyed viewers spotted what could only be described as a real-life ghost. 
To the untrained or superstitious eye, there's still a chilling element to the sight of the boy in the window. But for anyone who likes things like the truth, you can't handle the truth. This has long since been debunked as a cardboard cutout, but it still doesn't stop it from completely overshadowing the movie. Number 2. The Hanging Munchkin Now for another rumour, which has blighted the legacy of a classic movie, the urban legend that The Wizard of Oz accidentally captured the tragic final moments of an extra playing one of the munchkins is one of the most infamous on the internet. It states that there's a scene in the movie which unwittingly features said actor taking his own life in the quaint forest background of the yellow brick road. And the story took on a life of its own, compelling viewers to pause and closely examine the scene endlessly to spot the rumoured figure, and it completely changed the way the scene was digested, or in other words, ruined it. Sadly for conspiracy theorists and happily for munchkin protection groups, this has subsequently been proved to be the rubbish that most sensible people would have immediately thought it to be. And number 1. Mr. Nanny's Dog Botherer It isn't often that anyone upstages Hulk Hogan, which is precisely why this distracting example is the obvious choice for the pinnacle of this list. In between making a name for himself as a wrestler and then ruining his legacy as a regrettable reality TV star, the Hulkster made a well-publicized and very much underwhelming sidestep into the world of filmmaking. Some of his appearances such as his cameo in Gremlins 2 were pretty good, but they were few and far between. And arguably the lowest point was Mr. Nanny. But there's a glorious WTF moment in the background as Hogan cruises down the motorway on his hog. I mean, look at that! Had the animal somehow upset its owner? Did it even belong to him? Would anyone care as much if this had happened in the background of a movie that didn't star Hulk Hogan as a bodyguard turned nanny with hilarious consequences? Probably not, but there it is. And that's our list. Did we miss any distractions which done doomed the scenes that they were in? Well, let us know about them in the comments section below. And if you want to come distract me from my life, then you can follow me on Twitter, RetroJ with a zero. If you've enjoyed the video, then like, share, and subscribe for more. As always, I've been JulesWhatCulture.com, and I'll see you soon.